In this video, I'll show you how to set up Advantage Plus campaign on Facebook ads. So the first thing you need to do would be to go to adsmanager.facebook.com. Once you go to Facebook ads manager, you need to see a window that looks exactly like this. So if you don't see it, you can click on the little arrow here on the little hamburger menu and go to ads manager. So once you go to the ads manager, this is the, this is the window that you're going to see. And it's going to be a very easy, straight, straightforward process. You're going to click on create. From campaigns, you're going to choose your objective. I usually use the objective of sales because like 99% of my ads are optimized for sales. So I'm going to click next. And here, instead of like manual sales campaign, you're going to choose advantage plus shopping campaign. So what you're going to do, you're going to choose the Advantage Plus shopping campaign. You're going to click continue. Once you're going to click continue, you're going to see a menu that looks exactly like this. You need to give your Advantage Plus campaign name. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to name it Advantage Plus campaign. And here the idea with the Advantage Plus campaign is that it's super simple to set up. It's very easy to uh, use. That's why Facebook is launching this type of campaign. Facebook is launching this type of campaign for anybody out there to be able to run Facebook ads. So you just need to give a your campaign a name. So I'm going to name it Advantage Plus Test. From the menu here, the most important part would be to set your daily budget. Usually go with a daily budget that you want to spend per day. Also, you can switch it to lifetime budget, but I usually use daily budget. So here, let's say I'm just going to leave it at $20. There is also some other settings that I rarely use. The next thing I'll do, I'm going to click next. So once I click next, you're going to see a window that looks exactly like this. Here you need to give your ad set a name. So I'm just going to leave it at the default because you don't have time. I know your time is valuable. So from the conversion location, choose the lo conversion location that works for you. But here I'm just going to select website, maximize number of conversions. I'm going to use my pixel. I'm going to select my event, which is purchases. Here you can do at a spending limit, but I'm just going to leave this empty. You can set a start and an end date in case you want to run a campaign that is just that, that you want to post. Uh, in the future automatically. So Facebook will automatically pause your campaign if you select the end date and if you choose the time. Audience here, Facebook is automatically selecting your audience. This is why they created the Advantage Plus campaign. So what I suggest you do would be to change the location. For me, the default location is Bulgaria, although I'm running my ads mainly in the United States. So let me type the United States. If you scroll down, you're going to see you have more controls, you have more options, but usually if you do Advantage Plus, you leave those empty. So here you can, if you have some data in your ad account, you'll see some suggested ads and what you can do, you can easily add those ads. So here I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to click next and you're going to see a menu that looks exactly like this. So this will be the ad creation. And here you make your ad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to name my ad. Usually I name my ad using numbers because I know what ads I'm running here. You just need to select your Facebook page, your Instagram account. Uh, feel free to uh, choose those from this little menu. Uh, once you go uh, here, the creative source, I usually select menu upload. I usually do like 90% of the time I select single image or video. So multi advertiser ads, I usually keep this on. This is the default, I think. So I don't play with this. I just leave it the way it is. Uh, here, website URL, extremely, extremely important uh, for the purpose of this tutorial. Let's say that I want to send the traffic uh, to my website and I want to send the traffic to my service section. So let me do it like this. HTTPS slash And so I'm going to get a little preview here. If I click on preview the URL, I should go there. Yeah, so this is where I want to send the traffic and I'm back to Facebook. So I need to give my ad some copy. 
I'm just gonna say, hey, my name is Nico. Check out my services. Headline, whoop, headline, I'm gonna do it. So Facebook usually generates a copy for me so I can use some of the A generated versions. I'm gonna do it like this, although I'm not sure if it makes sense. So I don't suggest you use the AI version, but it's available now. Now AI is in every little product headline. I don't know, I'm just gonna say, join my consulting program here. This is the headline and what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna select an image. So here where it says media, I'm gonna select add image uh, and I'm gonna, let's say, choose this image. So I'm just gonna click next, expand image. Let's use AI to enhance the image and I'm gonna click done. And so I'm gonna wait a little bit to preview um, my ad. Usually it gives me an error. It's because I'm using the AI version. So this is how my ad will look like. It says that I have an error in my primary field. So Facebook is a little bit weird sometimes. So let me try to let me try to fix it. Also website URL, I just need to add my website URL. And here is how my ad will look like on different devices. This Instagram story, Instagram feed, Instagram reel, etc. Before I press publish, I need to just I think I need to agree to, to the term of use now. I already did that. So what I need to fix here, there is something wrong. So I'm just gonna remove the AI variations and the issue is resolved. And so to set my Advantage Plus campaign, I have another error. So it says non-valid phone number. So I'm just gonna turn this button off and I'm gonna click publish. And this is how I actually set advantage plus campaigns it's like super easy super simple and yeah this is the tutorial for now thank you for watching